Hello and welcome to this TIBCO Mastery introduction video. The subject of this video is organisations. Your TIBCO Mastery account is called a Mastery Area. Within your area you can define all of the assets required to manage and publish your APIs. Organisations allow you to subdivide your area. The organisation becomes a container for your APIs, your packages and your user roles. This diagram shows the structure. At the top is the area. Then we have a layer of organisations and below that a group of sub-organisations. How you structure this is up to you and your requirements. The area represents your entire company and you could use a second level to represent different divisions or brands or maybe regions. This one level abstraction may be enough but you can go one level deeper. This may be to represent specialisations within a division, a sub-brand or companies within a region. Just remember that properties flow downward so an API manager for heavy industry can manage aviation and fuels, but not research and shipping. Let's look at how we set this up. Under Manage, select Organizations. Here we will see the same structure in the UI. In this case, we are missing one business unit under heavy industry. To add it, click on New Organization. Enter the name, any description, and select the parent organisation. Click on Save and Close to return to the organisation structure or Close and Continue to save and edit the new organisation. To manage users, we select an organisation and select Control Centre Users. Currently, we have a single user who is an API manager for all of heavy industry. To add a new user, click Add. Then start typing the name of the user to add. Select from the list, select the organisation. This shows the current organisation and any child organisations. Then select role. This shows all of the available roles. Then click the plus symbol. Once you have added all the users and roles, click save. You can add and change roles from the user list. Click on a user's roles and then add or remove additional roles. Users' roles and assignments can also be managed from the user definition. Each of your APIs can be assigned to an organisation, or will be assigned to an organisation based on the creating user's role and organisational settings. To assign to an organisation, edit the API definition, select the new owning organisation, and save. Once an API has been assigned to an organisation, it will not be available to other organisations outside the current structure. However, you can make this available to other organisations to use in their API packages by adding them to the Control Centre of Visibility list. Packages can be managed in the same way. A package can be global or assigned to an organisation. Next, we need to look at portal access groups. Portal access groups allow you to group assets within an organization. You can set up portal access groups for an organization and add plans and APIs to these groups based on functionality. For example, sales APIs and marketing APIs. Portal users can then be assigned to one or more portal access groups so that they can access the resource group. Note that a user can be assigned to portal access groups from multiple different organisations. We hope you found this video useful. Please check out other videos in this series.